What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be a great one. We're talking about those street hookers in Tijuana, Mexico. I'm going to give you guys some tricks of the trade, give you guys some fair warning of some scams that these girls like to pull and what to watch out for. And this is just not limited to the hookers of Tijuana, Mexico. It can be applied to street hookers throughout the world, okay? I got some good information for you guys. All right guys, check this out. If you've ever been to Tijuana, Mexico, you have walked up and down Revolution Avenue to the restaurants, to the taco shops, to the souvenir shops, and you have seen street prostitutes everywhere, okay? Now, if you've walked down to Zona Norte, the famous red light district, you've seen street prostitutes everywhere, okay? They're literally everywhere in Tijuana. Now, I'm here to give you guys fair warning about a couple things and protect you guys, okay? Check this out. When you walk past these girls, a lot of times they're going to say, hey, psh, sex, $20. And you're going to think, wow, sex with a hot broad smash and dash for 20 bucks. That sounds good. Scam number one, guys. It's called the upsell. Let me tell you what these girls do to you. I'm also going to tell you how to avoid this scam. What they'll do is you pay them the $20, you walk back to the room, and then they'll say, oh, well, it's another $10 for the room. So when you get in there, she might just lay on the bed or something like that, pull her skirt up, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? And then she'll be like, well... If you want me to take off my clothes, it's another $10. Sometimes it'll be $10 per piece. $10 for the skirt, $10 for the bra, all right? So all of a sudden, your $20 has just become $50 or $60, okay? You want to change positions, $10. Change positions again, $10. So your $20 is not $20. That's scam number one. The $20 ends up becoming $70 or $80 very quickly. Now, let me tell you how to avoid that. To avoid that, you want to negotiate everything on the street, okay? Once you get up in the room, you have no negotiating power, all right? You're going to want to negotiate all services on the street, and that's going to keep you from getting ripped off. Scam number two that these girls like to pull. This is called the time scam. So let's say you pay for like 30 minutes, okay? That's normal. Show them your phone and be like, hey, we're starting at 920, right? So we have until 9.50. Make sure they see that, acknowledge that, and agree to that, okay? Because what you'll find out is a lot of times after you're in the room 10 or 15 minutes, you know, you really haven't even got going good. You'll get a knock at the door, all right? So you want to be sure that you know what you're paying for up front. You negotiate on the street for the girl, the service, and the time, okay? Definitely want to do that. Now, for those of you who are watching my other videos about Tijuana, Mexico, you do not really have to worry about these things happening to you in the big three bars. If you're at the Adelita Bar, the Hong Kong, or the Chicago Club, or even the Tropical, you're really not going to get an upsell right there from the girls, okay? Um, only the street girls seem to do that, okay? But the bottom line is, guys, it's never as cheap as it seems. So negotiate everything up front, the service, the girl, and the time. Guys, here's another trick. Don't go for the change scam, okay? When you go down there, you need to go with small bills. I wouldn't even recommend taking $100 bills at all. You know, maybe if you're going to go to Hong Kong or you're going to go to Adelita's and spend a lot of money, then you can take the hundreds. But if you're just going to hang around on the street corner and have some fun, guys, take 10s, take 20s, even change them into pesos. If you change them into pesos, you're able to save some money, okay? Not a lot of money, but a little money. But here's the thing, guys. The change scam is like this. You'll walk upstairs and she'll say, oh, the room is, you know, $5. And you go, well, I don't have $5. I have a 20. If they don't give you change right then, you give the money to that person, a lot of times they'll be gone. You'll never see your change back at all. Another thing you need to be careful of on the change scam, be sure, guys, this is huge. Everybody shut up and pay attention. Never let the girl see your money in negotiations. I don't care if you're on the street or if you're in the room, okay? Think about this, guys. If you just walk up to a girl on the side of the street and say, hey, let's go upstairs, you guys walk into the hotel lobby, and then they're like, oh, well, the room's going to be $20, sir, and you pull out a fat-ass wad of $100 bills that'd choke a horse, what do you think she's going to do when it comes time to price her services? price is going to go way up. Guys, that's information. That's good everywhere. I don't care if you're picking up a girl from Harry Hines Boulevard in Dallas, Texas. You're picking up a girl at Tootsie's in Miami. You're down at the Santa Fe in Bogota, Colombia. 
or you're in Tijuana, Mexico, never show your cards, never show your money. All right, guys. So now that you kind of understand what's going on in the street hustle game, let me tell you the final street hustle that these girls will pull. And it comes to threesomes, okay? Let's say you want to have sex with two girls at the same time. Well, I don't recommend that on the street at all. But let's say you want to go ahead and do it. You walk up to a girl. She's hot. She says, hey, let's go have sex. $20 is good. She's got a friend over there. She goes, hey, do you want to go with my friend for another 20 bucks? You say, yeah. Guys, that doesn't mean a threesome. That means you get one, and then that means you have to change protection, and you get the other one, okay? That's it. So be sure and negotiate. If you want to get in a pile, so to speak, and you want to have some girlfriend experience and some action, you need to be sure and negotiate that, okay, prior to. The last thing I'll tell you guys about the hustle in Tijuana, Mexico is – Tijuana is not a dangerous place. It's just full of small time hustlers, full of small scams. Okay. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's the biggest border in the world. It's the busiest United States, Mexico border. Thousands of people cross the border every day and go down to that famous red light district down there. Have a great time. Uh, the girls have health cards. It's safe. It is a great time. You just have to be responsible. Okay. I'm going to tell you about a couple more scams. I've touched on these scams before. I wanted to keep this video based on only the scams that the street girls pull, but I'm running out of time. I need another minute, minute and a half. So I'm going to tell you about a taxi cab scam. Guys, first of all, walk across the border, take a taxi to the red light district. Okay. Do not let him talk you into taking you anywhere else. You say, Hey, take me to the Adelita bar. Hey, take me to Hong Kong. Hey, take me to the Chicago club. Oh, amigo, there's a better place. It's called Maria's on the other side of Tijuana. Fuck that. No. Just be assertive and direct. Take me to the Hong Kong. Take me to the Adelita Bar. And they'll do it, and you'll have a phenomenal time. Guys, another thing when you're in Tijuana, speaking of scams, when you're walking down the street, there'll be shoeshine boys there. There'll be people selling souvenirs, selling bread, little tacos, whatever it is. A lot of times you'll walk by people, and they'll say, hey, drugs. Hey, cocaine, things like that. Guys, do not get involved in any of that. A lot of times these people work with the police, okay? And they'll sell it to you. You'll get a block down the road. A cop will turn the corner. He'll say, hey, amigo, turn around. We're going to do a routine check. He'll take your money. He'll take your dope. You got scammed. You got put together. The whole thing was set up, okay? Also, guys, don't flash a huge wad of money to the taxi drivers either. You never want to do that. If you walk across the border and get in a taxi and say, hey, man, how much am I going to have to pay you to take me to the Hong Kong? And he says, $10, buddy. And you say, here, take 20. And you pull out a big ass wad of money and you say, keep the change. I'm in a good mood. I'm going to tip you. We're going to have fun. Don't do that. There's a chance he's working with a cop too. Before you know it, you get pulled over, you get searched, you get your money taken. Now you're not going to get hurt, but they're going to take your money. All right, guys. I hope this helped. I just went over the girls, the taxi drivers, a couple scams these street hookers are going to pull in Tijuana. Remember the golden rule, guys. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And a hot girl is not throwing ass for 10 bucks, okay? She's just not. I don't recommend messing with the street girls at all. I know we've got some real professionals in the group. Don Julio, um, Bob, Gary, guys like that. Um, and they have their own different opinions. But I can tell you right now, if it were up to me, I would go straight to the Hong Kong club, straight to the Adelita bar, straight to the hottest girl in there, take her upstairs, pay her, smash, dash, hit it, quit it, leave. Don't exchange Facebook information. Don't exchange anything. Don't even drink. Hit it, quit it, leave. That's the cheapest way to go to Zona North Day. Guys, if you hadn't done it already, smash that like and subscribe button. Hit me in the comment section for any questions that you have. Until next time. We'll see you down the road.